Seattle's Alaskan Way Viaduct will close to traffic for about two weeks in 2016 as the tunneling machine Bertha crosses underneath at the intersection of Alaskan Way and Yesler Way. At this location, the machine will be 80 feet below the ground surface, but only 15 feet below the foundations that support the viaduct. It's the closest Bertha will come to any structure. The viaduct was damaged during the Nisqually earthquake in 2001. Washtot crews came in and installed these giant steel braces to reinforce the viaduct columns. Washtot also installed micropiles to underpin the foundations to support the viaduct. Seattle Tunnel Partners installed even more micropile supports here at Yesler Way to protect the viaduct from ground movement when Bertha tunnels underneath. Seattle Tunnel Partners also used carbon fiber wrap to reinforce the viaduct. Carbon fiber is used around the world and is a proven way to strengthen bridges and buildings. Let me use these two cans to demonstrate how commercial grade fiber wrap makes things stronger. When I step on this can, it crushes easily. Let me stand on this can and demonstrate the strength of the fiber wrap. It not only keeps its shape, but it also can support all of my weight. 142,000 square feet of carbon fiber was wrapped around parts of the viaduct. That's enough carbon fiber to stretch from Seattle to Issaquah. With all the improvements that we've done, as well as the safety inspections that the WashDOT bridge engineers do, ensure that the viaduct continues to remain safe for the traveling public. In an upcoming video, we'll show you some of the other tools we're using to protect the viaduct and buildings during tunneling.